five years ago, exactly on Kevin Durant's birthday, the Oklahoma City Thunder gave Russell Westbrook at the time the fattest NBA contract in the league, a five-year, $205 million deal. And certainly so, he was the league's best player in the previous season as he won the MVP award. Now let's be honest, with every season that Russ plays, that contract just looks worse and worse and worse. This season with the Lakers, Russ is making $44 million per year, and next year, he is expected to make over $47 million. LeBron James, on the other hand, who is carrying the Lakers this season, is making $41 million per season. He signed a two-year, $85 million contract. LeBron is actually outplaying his contract this late in his career in his 19th season. LeBron James is averaging 29 points per game and already doubled the amount of 30-point games he had all of last season, and we're only in the midway point of the NBA calendar. LeBron is playing like he is in the middle of his prime and has been consistent his entire career. I know. It is only $4 million in difference, but if the Lakers could, they would give LeBron that extra cash in Westbrook's contract. And I will tell you why. For better or for worse, Westbrook has played the most minutes so far this season in the entire NBA. It's actually turned out for the worst for the Lakers. Frank Vogel is forced to play Russ and I'm sure still thinks Russ is still a superstar, but that superstar tag is starting to fade. Westbrook makes superstar money and gives you nothing in return. All of his numbers have dropped all across the field. And with that amount of bricks and even air balls you see at games, he can practically build a new Crypto.com arena across the street on Figueroa Boulevard. But one thing that has not dropped are his turnovers. Westbrook is already halfway through the season and on pace to average close to 200 turnovers and we're not even in the all-star break. Look, life is all about expectations. The Lakers expect it to be a whole lot better than just staying above 500 in early January. Los Angeles expected to be a top contending team in the Western Conference after acquiring the former league MVP Russell Westbrook over the summer. The Lakers are a team with players who are past their prime and stuck with Westbrook and his bad contract that no team wants to touch. LeBron wanted Westbrook, he got him, but ultimately the signing of Westbrook goes on LeBron James for this disaster. He wanted Brody on the Lakers, who was playing the worst he's ever played in his career and also takes more money to the bank than LeBron James.